easy. <laughs> what a surprise! in Santa Monica, California. And you know what? Rhonda's going shopping. Oh, I'm so excited. It's way cool. It's Rhonda cool. And along with that, I've got a couple of great ones for you. And a couple of incredible films. Later on, we have Fist of White Lotus. I think it has something to do about aggressive plant life or something. But first up, we have an exciting docudrama about the establishment of the very first 900 numbers. It's dialing for dingbats. Take it from Rhonda, this one has it all. Exciting sex scenes. New and exciting microwave cooking suggestions. Even a social message about the improper use of the pooper scooper. Get right to it. It's dialing for dingbats on USA. Up all night. Ooh, it looks like Randy is tending to some very pressing business. But hey, who cares about him at the moment? Rhonda's at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, where you can find anything. It's shopping paradise. Hey, let's check some things out here. Hi there, hi there. What's your name? Takashi. 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 Well, Takashi. Yes. Well, Takashi, you know, this is perfect because it's like a little nursery here, and I need some a very big tree for my house. Do they get any bigger than this? No, they say small. Easy to take care. This is this is the whole tree? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not just the root? No, right. But I need very something. Root, yeah. You don't have anything bigger and you know, bigger Rhonda size? Yeah, big size is over there. That? Yeah, right there. And what is that? It's like three little leaves. No. Over there. Let me ask you, how much is that? Uh, 125. We'll be right back. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to go check out some commercials because I think Rhonda needs some money right now to get the three leaves for all that. $125? Yes. It must be hard to find. No, this is very uh, $28. Oh. Rhonda always goes for the more expensive one. It's bigger. <laughs> California, and it's wild and woolly down here. There's music. They're shopping. Wow, that girl short reminds me of Wonder Bread. There's these spots. Hey, whoa. Hi. <laughs> I don't think they talk back, but maybe they won't mind if I get closer to them and just sort of move along. See, they're singing about me and everything. It's a new Rhonda song. You're going to be hearing it on every station soon in your neighborhood. <laughs> anyway, I just got a cue that it's time to go back to our film or else I'm fired. I'm afraid Randy is about to visit the basement of his soul as depression takes over him. Well, he can't get a date. He's down. He attempts suicide. Bunga. Hi. 
Oh, I remember. Hi, it's Ron here in USA. Up all night at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, a beautiful part of L.A. where the city meets the sea. You can hear the Pacific Ocean. Or is that the Atlantic Ocean? Well, it's one of those. Anyway, allow me to be Rhonda and talk a moment about shopping. It's time we recognize shopping, not baseball, as the national pastime. After all, not everyone can play baseball, but shopping, anyone can do, and everyone does it. Admit it, you do it, you do it, and you know it. Think about it. You go to a baseball game, and you watch a bunch of guys. Well, Rhonda does like that. Well, anyway, they're standing around while the pitcher pitches to the batter. Two guys trying to make something happen. If it, uh, if it does happen, another guy has to run around for like about 10 seconds. And then that happens over and over and over again. Ugh. The only time you get to really do anything is during the seventh inning stretch. But shopping, ooh, there's endless variety and excitement. There's malls, there's department stores, there's boutiques, the aroma of a sale. Ah! Oh, the shouts of, hey, that's mine. I saw it first. The skirt, the boots. The hats, the sweaters, the bustiers, the perfume, the negligees, the makeup, the pumps, the slides, and jewelry. Ooh, ooh, shopping. It's 365 days a year. Let's face it, it's time to call a cubic zirconium a cubic zirconium. Baseball is not the national pastime. It's shopping. That competition for your personal best bargain. It's the rush of double coupons. The best buy one, get one free. Uh, scratch or chip it, and then you get $250 off? Yes! Yes! Shopping our national pastime. Think about it. That's one woman's opinion, and it's mine. Uh, USA Up All Night continues with your midnight morsel right after these very important messages about shopping. Yeah. in Santa Monica, California, where art happens. Wow, isn't that beautiful? And here's the artist. Hi, what's your name? My name is Mario Barrios. Oh, I like the way he says that. Now, Mario, this is very interesting art. What made you start painting this way? When? Four years ago. Um, instead of like with brushes, you use plates and spray. Yeah, that's right. Uh, only I use uh, brush and spatulas and spray. Like one night you were having like a really bad dinner and you just threw your plate down on your on the table and started painting? Right. <laughs> just I, I tried to move my arms and throw the, the plates and uh, use the cans and throw the paint and start moving my arms. Rhonda would love to do that. Like, you know, on, on, on a tablecloth, since I can't cook anyway, maybe I can make some really great artwork. Well, it's very, very beautiful. And it's nice to have you on USA up all night. But... Coming up in the next segment, segment, our hero Randy, well, what can I say? He's having an embarrassing intestinal problem. Let's see how it works out. Here's more dialing for dingbats on USA. Up all night. Just plates, plates and spray. Plates, plastic plates and uh, paint and... Can I use paper? I use paper also and this kind of spatula and that's it. Wow, it's L.A. It's Rhonda here at Chiller's on the 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California. Wow, I love this place because look at all the wild drinks that they have. They have Suicide and, and Strong Buzz and, oh, I like that one, Attitude Adjustment and, oh, perfect Rhonda drink, Pink Panties. Ooh. Hi, hi. Um, what's your name? Scott. Scott of Chiller's. Um, Scott, can you get Rhonda um, a pink panties, please? You got it, Rhonda. Ooh, this is so neat. I wonder what's in pink panties. Well, we know. Well, I don't think it's what we think is in pink panties. Well, what's in this drink? It's got pink lemonade and vodka. Thank you. Is it mine? It's all yours. Scott, I don't have any money. Is that okay? It's okay. On the house. Wow, Scott, you're really nice. Can you, like, come over here and give me a big kiss? 
Rhonda always gets what she wants. Yeah. Your midnight mistress, your tantalizing temptress, your goddess of good times, your bedtime buddy. We'll be right back. in Santa Monica, California, standing in front of the world's largest chia pet. A chiasaurus, to be exact. Ooh, Rhonda likes that. He's big and furry, and he's got leaves. You don't have to feed him much. Anyway, coming up in our film, our brain surgeon, Mr. Einstein himself, Brandy, has finally decided to use the party line himself to find the woman of his dream. Assuming he has the brain power to take all those little numbers and put them together in the right sequence to dial, what would his opening line be? A, hi, I'm Randy, you don't know me, and that's good. B, hi, I'm Randy, and my nostrils are perfectly round. Or C, hi, I'm Randy, and my personality is twice as cool as my name. <laughs> Let's see if you can tell the difference between the earpiece and the mouthpiece in our next segment of Dialing for Dingbats on USA. Up all night. Here, Chia Chia. Here, little Chia Chia. So cool. It's L.A. 10-10. Hmm. Rhonda can't help but thinking that it's going to be many segments before Randy and Robin get together. Trust me on this. Anyway, you know Rhonda is the ultimate shopper, so I have some Rhonda tips for when you go shopping. Number one, wear stretch clothing so that you can reach over people at two-for-one sales. Two, wear spike heels that are the appropriate circumference so that they don't get caught in escalators. And number three, always wear makeup in case you run into some really cute guy. Low-cut outfits help, too. And number four, always have at least $5 in cash with you in the parking lot, because people really get ticked off when you have to wait, you know, and write a check. They don't like that at all. And, you know, coming up is Geiger. Yeah, this is Geiger and Jeff next on USA Up All Night at Nature Zone at the 3rd Street Promenade in Santa Monica. We're going to learn some really cool things. Yes. attracted to me. No guys, but birds are. Right now I'm standing with Geiger and Jeff. Now, Jeff owns Nature's Own. I'm a resident rock band here. Definitely. Yes, you are. Look, this is a very cool store. Like, magical things can happen here. It's completely different, I must say. You're the, you're the only salesperson I know that walks around with a bird on your shoulder. Uh, you've got to have a living dinosaur in a dinosaur shop, of course. It's a direct descendant of a surisection dinosaur. That little guy right up there, Tyrannosaurus Rex, really? was his cousin. This bird? Yeah. Does he, does he like me when he did that to my hair? Yeah, he likes your plumage. Or is he sure. just doesn't Definitely. like my moose? Uh, <laughs> All right, show me some goodies that you have here in the store. There's a nice carnivore we've got here, an ancient cephalopod that swam about in the sea some 350 million years ago. I've dated guys that old. <laughs> He was feeding on arthropods, which was just a meek little uh, trilobite uh, that uh, crawled about feeding on algae. He had long tentacles that would produce, that would wow. grab this little beast and a beak that would eat him up. And if I had that in my house, would it bring me good luck? Yeah, it would be a good luck consideration, except for uh, the fact that it was some 350 million years ago of luck. We'd have to... How much would that cost? Not very much, $79. Oh, that's pretty cool. Three... <laughs> now show me, ooh, ooh, this is beautiful. This is the best, too. And it's magic, it just came out of nowhere. It's a wishing wand. You can make a wish on it, or your dream, your wishes will come true. And what is it made out of? Well, we've got a, uh, a phantom quartz crystal here that came out of the Diamantina mine in Brazil. Wow. I'm going to spin this little beastie here. Well, I think we're going to come back because I feel magic happening to me. Now, here's a little tease of what's coming up and dialing for dingbats as I learn more about this. Watch. So I just call 555-BLAB. Make a wish on this crystal ball here. So we uh. wish, wish on the next, uh, <laughs> next segment. Uh. Ooh, Randy and Robin are a perfect match. Put their heads together and you have two rooms with a view. 
You know, uh, Geig was really doing a number there. I know, he was doing this little mating ritual with you. He thought you were with your shoulder. Definitely. Up. <laughs> well, going on, man. You know, Geig was more colorful than Rhonda. I'm a little jealous. I don't think so. Uh, Rhonda's looking pretty nice. You're tonight. pretty colorful, Jeff. Thank you very much. Now, tell me about this amethyst cave. Uh, this was an ancient vesicle that was uh, deposited in a lava flow. Show the camera. Yes, and? The bubble was rising to the surface, but the surface cooled, trapping it. Mm. Continued to cool surrounding the pocket. Uh, later on, the water table migrated in. It boils into the vesicle, slowly depositing minerals layer by layer. Beautiful. Ouch. Look at the way these crystals actually solidified in that geometric shape. And they're good luck. This is good luck. The Greeks thought that this word meant uh, the word amethyst is what is derived from the Greek meaning without drunkenness. So it raises your conscious level. Do you feel a little, you know? Let me, Higher, let me just a touch this. Give it, a, give it a go. Right now we have to go back into a commercial, so I'm just going to keep touching this and see if it raises my conscious, conscious level. I see you're rising. I need here. a lot of that. It's, it's, it's a good. I feel like I'm rising. Or is it my hair? Good we'll point. be back. Nature Zone at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, and my hair has been done by Geiger the Bird, and I'm with Jeff, the owner of Hello. Nature Zone. You know, this is the coolest leg of a table I've ever seen. You just took it right off your dining room table? Let it right off here. Actually, this is a, uh, a leg bone or a tibia of a duckbill dinosaur, one of, one of Geiger's relatives again. Did you just dig that up in your backyard? Well, if you consider the United States your backyard, these guys roamed about in Colorado some uh, 65 million years ago. You're telling me that that's 65 million years old? Actually, that was last year, so it's a bit older now, of course. Wow. You can see where the muscles attached to it. Wow. Can you imagine that? The sinewy little muscles they might have been. What Quite a, a great nice leg, you know business I mean? you own. You know what's neat about this place? I mean, this is a store, and there's a fountain here, and it's so peaceful, and there's a bird, and there's Jeff. But you know what else? Well. You're well, going. Thought, the bird is undressing you. Surprised he's not sitting part. on my side. <laughs> You're going right. to love this next part. You are. All right. Of the I'm film. Ready. Because Dave gets the word. It's all over, Dave. Your history, Dave. You're dead meat, Dave. Yo, that's right, Dave. You had it. And then he gets acne. Ooh. <laughs> Justice is a wonderful concept. Now, it's back to Dolly for Dingbats on USA. Oh, all night. Tell me more things. Educate me. All right. Here's a little bird in here. Does Tell he... us all about it, Geiger. What do he you think? He was a dinosaur? Yeah. There's a little egg stealer that would twist right in there and grab the eggs and run away really fast. But every time he started He's running away, again. he'd develop another little feather. <laughs> yeah, he definitely likes it. There's a little mating ritual <laughs> going on now. Geiger, watch yourself, huh? No? This is a new concept for Rhonda. I really don't know what to do. Hmm, and what about the pizza party? Oh, well, it's Rhonda here at Nature Zone at the 3rd Street Santa Monica Mall, also with Jeff and... and... I lost... Uh, after he flirted, I forgot his name. Oh, he's run away now. Geiger's... <laughs> Geiger. And his beautiful side. wife, Leslie. Now, I found the world's largest diamond. Now, guys, do, do you have a, a setting large enough for this so that I can wear it? You can? A necklace. Don't you think there would be a great necklace on Rhonda? Right, if you think so. In the meantime, I want to thank these lovely people for allowing us to come in here and, and shoot your beautiful store, beautiful wife, beautiful good bird. Good party. Yes, you had a good time. Uh -huh. Four is better. And can you help me bring this to the car? Yes, this will be yours, huh? <laughs> this is a wonderful bet. It's out of Brazil. It crystallized out of molten rock some hundred million years ago. He this geometric knows shape. everything. Well... <laughs> We'll we'll try. Almost everything. A little veneer here and there. If he doesn't, it sounds really we'll good. We'll make it up. We'll be back. Live. Stay with us, and Rhonda will keep learning more. I don't care. I think it's a diamond. I'm bringing it home. Cheers. Our next segment is not for the faint-hearted. 
it brings to the surface the social stigma of phone addiction. Dialing for dingbats continues on USA Up All Night with your girly girl Rhonda. Yes, and Lawrence Cook. Lawrence can't talk right now because he's miming, but I think he's a real person. Well, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. Stay with us for more of Lawrence Cook, known as Mr. Robot, here, Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. Can I make you laugh? I bet I can make you laugh. I bet I can make you laugh. I bet I can make you laugh. Can you laugh? Will you laugh? You're going to slap me, aren't you? No, you're a cop. You can't do that. <laughs> It's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night, and I ran into Lawrence Cook here at the Santa Monica Promenade, and he was just miming his own business. <laughs> miming his own business. Can you unmime now? Sure, I can unmime now. And talk! Yes, surprised? I, no, I, I knew you had it in you. Well, they always say, there goes that obnoxious mime, so... So, so you come out here every weekend? Every weekend, every Friday and Saturday. Are the people nice? People are great. Really? Now, do you want to get discovered here? Hopefully, yeah. Be in I movies, sure be in television? Yes. Well, actually, not be in the movies, but yeah. I bet you're, like, really a great singer. Come on. Come on, Lawrence. I know you can sing. Just sing a little something. I want a singing mime. Just a little something for Ron. Well, what about a lip sync? I mean, that's as close as I can come. I mean, mimes really don't say anything. Hasn't that been done before? All right. Lip sync something. That's miming. What can I say? This is Ron on USA up all night, and we'll be right back. See, my lips didn't even move. See how fast that was? See, mimes are geared to do that. find one another? Will they like the same thing on their pizza? Let's find out. In the filling conclusion of Dialing for Dingbats on USA Up All Night, Rhonda's going shopping 50% off. Somebody oh! somewhere in the heat of the night. And that's a wrap on Dialing for Dingbats. Our next tour de force is called A Fist 
of White Lotus. No, it's not about aggressive plant life. Actually, it's about two brothers and revenge. Ooh, I like that. And yes, it does have an urban feeling, complete with break dancing. <laughs> And a certain je ne don't know pas. Let's get right to the action. It's a fist of white lotus on USA. Up! Oh! All night. Now, Ron is a little confused. Are you surprised? No. But why are they calling one of our heroes, you know, the one with the walking stick, up yours? Who knows? It must be that wacky Asian humor. Now, here I am at the 3rd Street Santa Monica Mall, and I was having a great time because I've been shopping, I've been talking, I've been schmoozing, and you look so cute. How are you doing? Um, boy, you just jumped right into that. You oh, must yeah. be in show business because this is L.A., are you? Uh, no, I'm actually not. Are you a student? Uh, no. I'm are you a yuppie? Just, just visiting. You're visiting from where? Italy. Oh, wow. No accent or Bella anything. Bella Italia. Ciao. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you say up all night in Italian? Si, svegli tutta la notte. Do you think he really said that, or did he say something really naughty? <laughs> well, I don't know, but I like him, and he's going to stay with me, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back with more of USA Up All Night right after these very important messages. So. big guy, but the beach is like about four blocks away, but you know, you never know. This is how you meet women. We're in Santa Monica. Now, Ron has got some fan mail um, that I'd like to share with you on the streets of Santa Monica. Hello, Rhonda. I was kind of upset that you didn't read any of my letters on your show, but I do realize that you can't read them all. My letters are not sexually perverted. I just write it to tell you that I would like to be your friend. Oh, well, I'll keep writing. That's very sweet. And this comes all the way from John Pinnock. So nice. And let's check this one out. This one has this very, look at this letter. It's very tastefully um, closed. Black masking tape. Dear Miss Ron DeShear, yesterday I watched your, you host Private School. I love that movie. Enclosed in my letter are some things for you to have. And already in the mail is my official Ron DeCombe. Love your, love your loyal fan, Brian Sickle and Stephen Markham. Isn't that two fans? Well, let's check this out here. Magic hands. Special. Wow, is that nice? Well, this must be the special Ronda Comb and very cool little pin and little car. Closest I'll come to a Mercedes and Miss Piggy. Thank you for sharing all of your favorite things with Rhonda. Now, in our next segment, Ching Ching and her sister pick up on a rocket vibe. <laughs> Here's more Fist of White Lotus with your Chop Chop Girly Girl on USA up all night. Hey, cool like Pez, but no like Pez dispenser. But it is sugar free. Coming up next in Fist of White Lotus, Sister forgets her tissues. Ooh. along with her manners. Back to the movie with Rhonda, your nighttime ninja in USA, up all night. The tiger, the crane, the white lotus. It's like an episode of Wild Kingdom. It's Rhonda on USA, up all night, and I'll be right back. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. It's Rhonda here at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. It's great here. There's shopping, there's girls, there's guys, there's food, there's espresso. Yeah, that's what Rhonda wants next. And there's also a fist of white lotus on USA Up all night. Rhonda will be back. Ooh. Ronda 
Martha here at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California. Ooh, it's been a great night, but I think I can handle a little espresso to keep me up all night, if you know what I mean. Hi there. Excuse me. Hi. What's your name? My name is Mila. Hi, Mila. Could, um, could I have a little espresso? Make it as strong as you can, because I've got to stay up all night. Is that okay? It's fine. Would you like single or double? Double. Big. Maybe a triple. Fine. <laughs> Now, as we move back to our movie, we find Wing Ting attempting to break into a human piñata. <laughs> hey, we've got to find our thrills any way we can, if you know what I mean. Here's more of Fist of White Lotus on USA. Up all night. Can you make it like a quadruple? <laughs> The best espresso on the third street promenade. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is it really strong? Really strong. The strongest you ever had. Here it goes. Thank you very much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fist of White Lotus will continue. Uh, we'll be back um, after I have another sip with more of USA. Up! Oh, I'll be up all night. Mm, very good. Ting learns to be a girly man. Woo! With more of Fist of White Lotus on USA. Up oh, all night. Allowed. This is Rhonda at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California, and we'll be back with more of USA up all night right after these very important messages. Yeah, don't go away. in my house. Anyway, it's time for the following messages on USA. Up all night. You wait, you watch, you see, you come back. It's Rhonda at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California, where art happens. Now, hang on to your dumplings, because it's time for the exciting conclusion of Fist of White Lotus. Yeah, watch. <laughs> oh, well, I guess this film proves the notion that as you get older, your hands are the first to go. <gasps> Thank goodness. Anyway, that's a wrap. It's a conclusion of A Fist of White Lotus on USA. Up all night. I have had a blast here at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California. So much fun food shopping, boys, girls. You know, it's been incredible. But don't go to sleep, because we have another incredible feature coming up for you, Werewolf. And next week, of course, we'll have two more exciting features for you in exciting places. Now remember, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda. Up! All night.